everyone. Welcome to another Excel chat video walkthrough. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly. And today we're going to be talking about conditional formatting and how to use that to highlight the background of certain cells based on a specified value. Okay. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we're going to use conditional formatting and we want to, in this case, highlight cells that are greater than our criteria value, which happens to be 90. So the way that we're going to do that is first highlight the cells that are in question. And then we're already in our home, and we're going to go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, greater than. And as, I, as you can see, it's already given us a certain value. It said, oh, 75.5. Do you want to make you know all the values that are greater than that? Highlight them with light red, fill with dark red text. And in this case, we're going to say no, because we already have in mind what we want to do. We'll hit our criteria value. And then we're going to click this and go to custom format. So under custom format, you can custom format the numbers, the fonts, the borders, but in this case, we want to do the fill. Very simple. We're just going to choose a dark blue color. Hit OK. And then hit OK. As you can see, Excel has highlighted the values that are greater than 90 for us, 91, 92, 93. Super easy tool to use, very, resour very resourceful, and uh, de definitely very useful when you're using you know, huge graphs or massive tables and you want to identify numbers that are greater than a certain value. So the next way that we're going to use is using the built-in rule. So the built-in rule is a little bit different. So I'm going to hit Control Z, and I'm going to re-highlight these cells. And then I'm going to go to conditional formatting again, and then go to the new rule. Okay, so we're going to create a new rule. This allows you to have a little more flexibility with what you're doing. In this case, we're going to do values that are greater than or equal to our criteria value. And the way that we're going to do that is go to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then on our Excel article, Excel chat article here, you can see we already have the formula laid out for us. Very convenient. Thank you, Excel chat. And then we're going to just paste that formula. And if you look at the formula closely, you can see greater than or equal to our specified value here. Very simple concept. Very easy to use. You can type in your own formulas. This C5 is the beginning of our highlighted table here. That's why the value is inputted as C5. And now we're going to go to format, again, dark blue color. Okay, gives, a, gives us a little preview as to what that's going to look like so we can determine whether or not we want that fill. And then hit, okay. So as you can see, a few more cells were highlighted. That's because we used the greater than or equal to value and two 90s were highlighted as well. Uh, both of these tools are super useful. Conditional formatting is super useful in Excel. It helps you identify numbers on you know, massive tables or even smaller ones like this. And they're really good for presenting uh, certain data at certain points. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.